Hello once again YouTube and welcome to part 2 of my Halo 3 ODST diorama. Now I just got such an overwhelmingly positive response from the first part, I thought I'd extend the tower to a full bridge, let's check it out. So the first part is the planning phase and we need to design this. So we're going to do some research by playing the mission and find out exactly what makes this bridge tick. So the beautiful thing about Fiat's mode is we can just pause and play whatever we need. Essentially this is the start of the bridge and we're going to have the tower, the gateway there and then extend the bridge out. So I've got a lot of base plates in the attic, I, I took a couple of down. So I've got a lot of base plates in the attic, I took a couple of down right. I took a couple of down. All right, we got some bad news. I just went in the attic to find the warthog and the scorpion for the video, and I dropped the warthog out of the attic. So I'm gonna try and rebuild this, but hey, they are meant to be destroyed in the diorama, so that's good, I guess. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh no. Then the bridge is gonna extend all the way across here. I also found Two hunters now, thanks to one of the comments on one of my videos saying I should have two. The next step is to make sure that this piece is directly in the middle of this base plate. Then we're just going to secure them in with these temporary pegs. The scorpion is way too fat for this bridge, so we're going to extend it out by quite a way. And I don't even know if the camera can tell that they're two different colours. A dark green and a dark grey. And these are going to be the main supports for our bridge. So we go dark green, grey, dark green, Great, and then we're gonna repeat this pattern on both sides. Bingo bango! It's actually like a hugely satisfying color palette. Now we got something to work with. Elephants are always the best custom build material because they have these tasty green bricks. So it looks like these are quite thin lines here, so I'm gonna replace all of this with only one strip long blocks. I've moved these pieces to work in accordance with this design here. These represent the archway that's gonna go here and the rest of it has to be filled with these guys. So we'll start with the long ones and then we'll just orientate between long and short. Done. Now, same as before, we're gonna add these thinner ones to the top of the support. You need to make sure that they overlap so it holds together more tightly. So I'm gonna start this build with just a simple two piece on either side. And then when I put my first one on, it'll overlap and lock everything together tightly. And then same as before, we're going to go small, long, small, long. There's a few options here, because like technically a lot of this support structure is not green, but I just love that UNSC green color that I've decided to make it that way. But I could have like a different colored archway. Now what I'm doing right now is really simple. I've attached all of these really loosely in a line. And this is the exact length of my archway. So I'm just gonna use this as a reference while I'm looking at what pieces I can use. So we've decided on desert print for the top of the bridge. Here's our windows, like our transparent glass. And we're gonna clip these in one by one. We've got all of these pieces here. That's gonna clip in nicely there. And that will mimic the top of that. These pieces here will all run underneath this one. A jump forward in progress now. We got these little searchlights at the front, but we drop in level using these pieces, and then this curves it off really nicely. These also round off the sides, and then we're starting to build a base structure now. It's coming together really well. It's gonna look very nice up there. The gateway needs more support, <laughs> like this. Every one of these, put a three-piece on and attach them around the outside, and fasten it all together there. So it's a lot more secure and a little more streamlined in the process. Then filling this all in, pop these in here. Now we're making the final transition from desert to green. And we're gonna layer this non-stop. Okay. Now we've removed these outside pieces here. Get two long ones, slot them in. Some of these short ones, either side. Here is the bridge arch, the archway for the bridge. This will slot into place just like this. A couple of other additions I made to the bridge. I streamlined everything, little antenna here, underneath all of these really nice pieces that just attach so well. Firmly attaching all these pieces together. We've still got a lot to do. We've got to work on all of this. We've got to make the charges and some support beams, and then we've got to run the structure around here. Just currently putting together these four pieces. 
These are going to be the charges, or at least the towers that the charges are set on. And then these four to go alongside it. This one has to be one strip longer. Slot it in. As the bedroom slowly descends into chaos, I've collected the next few pieces we need. We've got these grated pieces and a cap on the top. Let's set the charges. Traffic light strips. There's no better way to visualize these kind of slanting pieces than these ones that literally go right down. Hello everyone and welcome to day two. Now I got really busy last night organizing everything, finding all the pieces I needed. So I'm gonna talk you through all of the additional details I've made right now. First of all, I've added a new block of silver that perfectly aligns with this bronze. I've got these little exhaust vents and I'm just putting some dark green underneath so you can barely notice it, like they're coming out of the tower. I'm going to start with these silver ones. I've got four of these. I'm gonna put each of these next to the main suspension supports. These are the main design focus, so I'm gonna work out from here. I've got four of these ones, put them either sides. I'm going to use this piece, the longer pieces, every two block interval. I've got some sewage grates running towards the middle. Ah, look at that, that's really starting to take shape. Cap off the top of my towers. Now we're gonna make the charges so the ODSTs can blow the bridge. We've got two pieces today, the turbine, and this little piece from an alien set. I'm going to get some tack, pop it inside the turbine. Usually I'd be a little more careful with tack showing on the piece, but it is a charge, so I would imagine it involves some putty. I don't mind. And we're going to stick this onto the side of the bridge. Ready to blow. They actually, they look pretty cool. Happy with that. This is not an efficient way of doing this. I would not recommend it, but this is how I'm finding new pieces. The Mega Bloks Ferry keeps on giving. Now we've got a smooth section that literally runs the entire way across. Really nice design. We'll start by filling in these ones and use the smaller pieces to fill in those gaps. Now I'm just trying to smooth out everything. I'm trying to make sure that there's no bobbly, dippy pieces. It all sort of flows really nicely. And I'm gonna get these pieces here. Just fill in as many of the holes as possible. And it just fits in perfectly. Flash forward like a billion hours. The whole thing is streamlined now. Everything is smoothed out. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks pretty wonderful now. Let's actually see how good it looks. I've made sure that the Scorpion can fit coming out of the gate like this. We'll add a few flames to them too. That is the majority of the bridge. I'm gonna do some more alterations and then I'm going to build up this side and then we'll see what it looks like. Day three and we are done. This is the one of a kind Halo 3 ODST Oni Alpha Site bridge build. I am so, so happy with how it turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I'll see you tomorrow for when we display this with figures. It's gonna be pretty wild.